Well, good morning, guys. So I'm in a small little village in northern Thailand up by the Laotian border. Uh, the town is called Nawa. It's just on the edge of Nawa. But anyway, uh, today we're going to go to a Buddhist temple and there's a monk who lives there who is just as into wildlife as we all are. And he wants to show us all of his lizards and the tarantulas that are on the temple ground. So I'm looking really forward to this. But knowing that I was going to meet this monk, I wanted to bring him an offering. And so I picked up some Minnesota made honey from my home state of Minnesota that's made out of wildflowers. So I'm really looking forward to making an offering to thank him for taking us around the temple and showing us all the wildlife. But right now we're gonna to go to the temple and the monk is going to do a prayer service so that we have a good trip. We find all the reptiles that we want to find while we're here in Thailand. It's going to be pretty amazing. And then tonight, when the tarantulas come out, he's going to take us around the temple grounds and show us all the really cool tarantulas that are on the temple grounds. Why are you barking at me? Huh? Come here. Come here, sweetheart. Here <laughs> So the monk blessed us. He gave us uh, well wishing for the rest of our trip, uh, good luck, safety, that sort of thing. Yes. And after the prayer ceremony, now he's eating. So everybody just kind of sits and waits for him to finish eating. Sure. And then we're able to eat with him afterward if we'd like. Um, I don't know, Apple, anything else you want to add to that? That's, that's pretty much it. Maybe we walk around and try to see. We were looking for some tarantula holes. Yes, or something. and we're going to come back tonight and do that, right? Yes. yes. All right, guys, so this is one of the tarantula holes that are found here at this temple. And we're going to come back here tonight. And the monk is going to um, show us how he kind of takes care of all these tarantulas here at this temple. This is one of the most incredible experiences I've ever had. Okay, so this is traditional tea. Oh wow, look at how they make this tea. And they make this big pot of tea. Got some herbs in it. Bitter. It's a bitter flavor? Yes. Okay. All right, so here is the tea that the uh, monk made in this big pot behind me. I'm gonna try this here. I'm not a big tea drinker, but this is not really traditional tea. This is very, um, it, it's smoky. It has a smoky flavor to it and it's not very bitter. 
it's actually rather smooth, but it, I don't know, it's very hard to describe. It's not like any tea that I've ever had before. It's extremely herbal, bitter. Yeah. Kind of, what, like a high alkaline or something? Yeah, like yeah. It's, yeah, it's very strong. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's the way to describe this, is it's like a smoky, alkaline, it doesn't taste bitter, but it's, it's unlike any tea I've ever had. So this is the bundle that the monk makes the tea out of. So there's some herbs, but it's mostly just different kinds of wood. And as you roll it, you can smell all the different aromas. This is really unlike anything I've ever heard of on how to make tea, which I've heard a lot about how to make tea. So guys, the tarantulas were a no-show last night at the temple, which is kind of disappointing because I was really looking forward to seeing these really big, gnarly tarantulas. But, you know, I was talking with the monk after I presented my offering of honey from Minnesota. And, you know, for those of you who don't know, you know, different flowers and different plants and different bees make different tasting honey. So honey that was made by wildflowers that are native to Minnesota He's probably never tasted honey like that before, and to sit there and watch him try it and have this smile and almost this giggle, oh man, there was no other moment like that that I've ever really experienced. It was just so amazing, but as I was talking to him afterwards, you know, he came up to me and presented me with this gift. So this is a cobra walking stick that I think was hand carved by the monk, but then somebody else told me that it was carved by another monk. But either way, he knew that I loved snakes and he offered me this hand carved cobra walking stick as a gift. This is by far one of the most incredible gifts I have ever received and I'm going to cherish this for the rest of my life. So later on today, there is a ceremony for us, and I'm going to have my friends Dan and Apple Maleri kind of explain what this ceremony is. It's not really a Buddhist ceremony. Everyone here is Buddhist, but um, it's something that they do in this region, I guess. It's kind of known for doing it, and it's just a send-off. It's a farewell, um, kind of giving you a blessing, safe travels, good luck, prosperity that sort of thing. Everybody's in there right now. There's so many women, there, there's a lot of energy in there. They're cooking food and oh, fantastic. getting everything all ready. It's Preparing exciting for them. Yes. Yeah, it's, they really love it. Oh, this is an honor for me. This You'll is love great. it too, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Okay, yeah. great. So right now I'm gonna go get ready for the ceremony. I'm not sure exactly what to expect, but just that they're doing this, I already feel honored. So I'm gonna go get ready for the ceremony. That is dragon fruit. All right, so first we're going to have lunch and they've prepared chicken and papaya and dragon fruit and everybody else is sitting over there on the floor eating lunch. We're sitting here because we have a really hard time sitting over there. Oh, all right, so Dan just told us that we're sitting here at the table because uh, we're gonna have a hard time sitting on the floor. He's right. So this is called sticky rice, and at every Thai meal, this is the staple. And what you do is you take it, you crumple it up into a little ball, and then you pick up your food on your plate with it, and then eat it with your hands just like that, and it's so good. So it's unlike any rice that you're gonna find, like in any restaurant or like a fluffy rice that you make at home. It's actually really sticky, and you kind of use it to grab the rest of the food off your plate and eat it. All right, so it's time for dessert, and what this is, is the green is like a gelatin. It's made out of rice and some leaves, and then this is coconut milk, and these are ice cubes, and it's served ice cold. And this is, this is shaved coconut, and it's on top of the green gelatin uh, as well, so that's really squishy. It's kind of like, I don't know, like almost rice pudding. Ooh, it's got a very smooth taste but it's sweet, so that coconut milk makes it really sweet. 
So it's kind of, you can taste the rice in it, you can taste the coconut, the sweet coconut aftertaste, and it's served ice cold. This is actually really good. Yeah, I like this stuff. All right, so lunch is over, and now it's time for the ceremony to begin. on whatever you do, like uh, along your journey, you, you'll be lucky and all that. That's fantastic. Yes. So guys, that was one of the most incredible experiences of my life. You know, this is how I travel. I love to immerse myself in the local culture. And I've said it before that when I visit other countries, whatever direction the tourists go, I go the exact opposite direction so that I can immerse myself in the local culture and learn about the people in the country. And man, that was just absolutely incredible. So look at all these bands. Woo! So. According to Buddhist tradition, I have to wear these bands for at least three days or until they fall off. And three is one of the um, sort of lucky numbers in Buddhist uh, tradition, but um, you know, if you bless a house, you have to sleep in it for three days, uh, wear the bands for three days so that all the luck and the prosperity that these represent will come to me. So. I don't think I'm gonna take these off after three days. I think I'm gonna keep these on uh, until they fall off because this is just, this is really, really moving to me. And um, anyway, I'm rambling, but just meeting the monk and visiting the temple and then going to this Buddhist traditional ceremony was just absolutely one of the most incredible experiences of my life. And I will carry this with me throughout my entire life. So. Anyway, guys, until the next adventure from here in Thailand, love the planet, keep your life in balance, and rattle on. <laughs>